Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you're looking for a powerful automation productivity tool as well as a note taking app today we're going to have a look at Mila note and we are also going to have a look at notion and see which one you should be using for your specific use case so let us check out what they have to offer so if you are primarily a designer uh, a creative professional uh, Mila Note's probably a good option for you. So Mila Note actually offers a visual workspace that helps you to organize your ideas, your projects, as well as your inspiration. And let me tell you something, if you are a visual thinker, Mila Note is fantastic. It allows you to create uh, fantastic projects, inspirations, brainstorming boards, mood boards, project planning. It allows you to arrange images, notes, you even can take advantage of um, voice recordings and even video. So if this is um, something that you enjoy, it really has a high visually appealing manner. Now Notion on the other hand, is uh, more like an all-in-one workspace that combines note-taking, task management, database organization, and collaboration tools together. It's uh, very highly customizable, and it makes it highly suitable for individuals as well as teams. If you're looking to streamline your workflow, then Notion is great. Let's take a deeper dive into some of their features. Mila Note features a visual board. So Milanote's drag and drop interface allows you to create visual boards where you can arrange notes, images, links, files. Uh, you can do all of this very freely and it makes it ideal for brainstorming and creative projects. It also offers a large bank of templates. So there's a variety of tailor-made templates for you know different creative tasks, such as mood boards, as I mentioned earlier, on project planning and uh, brainstorming sessions. So you can use these templates without having to build your own template, and they're fully customizable. So if you do want to build a template off of that, then you're more than welcome to. You also have the collaboration tools, you can invite team members to collaborate on one single board in real time. It's absolutely awesome. It also has a web clipper, which allows you to save inspiration from the web directly to your boards, which streamlines your research process. While you're researching, bam, all you need to do is clip it and it's on your board. You also have fantastic integration as well as organization flexibility and that is awesome. Jumping into Notion now, taking a bit of a deeper look. Uh, Notion is, as I mentioned previously, an all-in-one workspace. It combines uh, note-taking, task management, databases, calendars, and it allows you to manage um, all aspects of your work in one place. It's lovely. It really is lovely. It's also got some customizable templates. Um, you know, from these templates, you can there further on customize these templates. So if you're not happy with absolutely every element of them, you can make it your own from personal journeys to project management. There's a variation of different use cases. You also have databases and tables. So you can create databases and tables to organize information. You can track your tasks and you can manage your projects efficiently. There are also collaboration features. Of course, Notion supports real-time collaboration, which allows you to work with team members on single documents, on single projects, and um, everything's done seamlessly. It's awesome. There is also markdown support. So Notion supports markdown formatting, which makes it easy for you to create structured notes as well as documents. Another nice thing is that it integrates with other tools. There are various applications, including uh, Google Drive, uh, Trello, Slack, uh, that you can integrate Notion with. And this will, of course, enhance your functionality and allow you to do everything in one place. So, of course, at this point, you've realized that Mila Note as well as Notion are both being produced for different target audiences, different use cases altogether. Now, to figure out which one is best for you, you'd have to balance off what your needs are and assess what it is that you're looking for in the software. 
then go and have a look at which one of these you actually enjoy using and which one fits your needs best. My advice is to go and use both of them and figure it out as you're going along. Now, if this video was helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a big old thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments section below. We'd love to actually hear from you. We'll see you next time, people. Peace.